<laughs> we are in beautiful Lunenburg, and I've caught up to the very handsome Mike. Can I say that to you? You probably, you don't get tired of it, no. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Campbell, although everyone here calls you Ollie. Yes. Or Oliver. Ollie. They call me Ollie. My middle name is Oliver, uh, William Oliver Campbell, and, and most of my family and friends call me Ollie, but uh, you can call me whatever you want. Well, Billy Campbell, we know you from Once and Again and The Killing, which is it, it, second season. Yes. Are you excited? I'm, I'm more than excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm foaming with excitement. Councilman, the police are here. You should be aware that the school is a potential abduction site. Surely this can wait, Lieutenant. Can it wait? Missing kids are usually killed in the first 72 hours, so... No, it can't. Well, then we'll have to cancel. Missing child takes precedence. What if we play into this thing? Missing kid, desperate family, you pulling out all the stops to find her campaign, be damned. No, 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 this is perfect, Darren. Especially if the kid ends up dead. I'm not using a family tragedy for a soundbite. I am a festival <laughs> of excitement. <laughs> Yeah, you do a cartwheel, but it's really cold. I would, yes. Yeah, indeed. I, I would break. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, Captain Dan said to us that you act to pay for your hobby. That's your day job to pay for this. This is, is your real love. Is that right? Uh, it is, I think. Though I am a bit of a, uh, I fear, a dilettante. But uh, I do. This is my love, and and um, and he's absolutely right. I act to uh, to pay for my. Uh, to pay for my hobby. Your habit. Yeah, my Indeed. habit. <laughs> okay, now, he was talk we talked a little bit about this circumnavigation, which I technically had to look up today because it essentially means going around the globe, which you probably knew. Yes. You did that, and you loved it. I did. I did it uh, twice, or most of twice, with the Picton Castle, which is the big, beautiful tall ship over there. Full round with the captain, the first uh, on the w fourth world voyage of the Picton Castle. Uh, and then this last world voyage, I, I was only able to do seven months, half of it, because I, w I had to shoot the first season of The Killing. Right. So um, I left the ship in Vanuatu and, um, and I rejoined the ship in Antigua. Okay. Uh, in the Caribbean. Very yeah. nice. Well, you're no stranger to the ocean. We had a chance to catch up with Sean Doyle and talk a little bit hey, about Johnny. the disappeared, yeah. which had you out on the water for months on yes. end. Yeah. And so you're, that doesn't bother you at all? No, yeah. no, it doesn't bother me at all. I, I got my sea legs yeah. my first season um, on the water in Norway. I was on a, I, I worked for a, a few years on a, on a square rigger in Norway. And the first season I was uh, getting seasick and this old Norwegian guy said, uh, don't you even make a move for the medicine board. You you don't take that medicine. I why? said, why? He said, well, he said, you, you if you want to deal with the seasickness, you just go through it the first time, and and uh, then you never be sick again. And that's true. And it was true for me. I mean, it's not true for everyone, but I did. I, I went through the sickness, and I did everything he said. He said, you sing, you look at the horizon, you breathe the, the fresh air, and uh, you won't get sick, and uh, you feel bad. But uh, when you're done, you're done. And there you and go. And I haven't been seasick now, since. Now, bobbing around in a dory, though, is a little bit different. You guys were out there for, uh, we talked about the fact that you're yeah. with no land in sight. Yeah. Uh, hours upon end. And, and well, now, granted, it was the summer, but still some pretty cold, rainy nights. Uh, is that a fair assessment? Yes, this is a very <laughs> fair assessment. It was, it was cold. And you survived it. Though, I, I, Sean will never forgive me for this, Sean Doyle, but um, the worst night they had, it was pissing rain can yeah. i say that on the yes the web, web. we'll bleep you if we can. um and uh and the boys they switched the scenes around and i didn't have to work that night at all oh. and i sat in here in the dory shop in front of the wood stove reading a book nice. and the boys were in the dories right off this wharf here they were in the dories getting rained on all night long and they would come into the dory shop and like uh, shivering around the stove and i was there toasty you know with a little uh, dark rum waiting for them and no we weren't drinking and working no that was not, not happening but no but you're hoisting yeah. some now, and in great celebration for this boat, which I understand will be launched in the spring. Is that a, is that? Is I that, you don't know. Don't know. A spring, summer, okay. some, something like that. And um, it's named after your uh, your grandmother. After my grandmother, uh, her name was uh, Martha Seabury. Martha S E A B U R Y. Martha Seabury. Nice. Very and, uh, good. I think it's a beautiful. That. That is a true sailor, ladies That's, and gentlemen. <laughs> my iPhone is uh, set with a sea bell, uh, with a ship's bell, so it, it rings on the uh, half hour. Well, Captain Dan was telling us you guys have a, because we we are normally ask where's the best place to grab a pint, mm. and and he said you guys have a pint in every port, or you've got a. Place well, for pints in every port. You're confusing the sayings there. No, sir. It's a girl in every port oh, and a pint in every 
Wait, how's it go? I don't know. It's not that kind of website. No, it's not. The best place to have beers is right here in the Dory shop by the wood stove. Right. Well, yeah. and I might take a class. It's not that hard. You should it? take a class. What? A boat building? Yeah. Dory building with uh, Dory J? Yeah. Absolutely. You should take a class. I spent a winter here actually building Dory's with Jay in the Dory shop, and it was one of the loveliest things I ever did. Yeah. Is that true? It was so great to meet you. And you. And you're, and I'm just going to, and he's, what are you, like six, seven now, right six, now? Six, four. I'm six, seven now six, because <laughs> I'm standing uphill from you. But uh, no, but uh, six, four normally. Yeah. And now do we, can, at what point do we congratulate you on this bit of business here? Right now. Right now. Congratulations. Thank you so much. William Oliver Campbell. Thank you. Whatever your middle name oh, is. What's see, your middle Stephanie name? Stephanie Ray Beaumont. Thank you, Stephanie you Ray Beaumont. Sh shout out to my Aunt Ray, who, who thinks you're dreamy. Your Aunt Ray? Yes. Shout out to Aunt Ray. <laughs> uh, it's awkward, ain't it? Hi, it is awkward. <laughs>